everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Ellen and today we are going to talk about how October went with paying off my student loans and my current thoughts with everything. If you are new here, I, I uh, graduated physical therapy school with a lot of debt um, that ballooned up to $192,404.12 before I decided to start paying it off this year. Uh, so October was a very good month. I had a little bit of um, extra pay from work, um, interest rate was good in the bank and I got $50 from the state of Illinois for some sort of pandemic relief gas high prices I honestly have no idea um, but I was able to pay off $3,583 which is incredible um, and brings my balance down to roughly $120 thousand nine hundred and twenty two dollars which is about thirty seven and a half percent paid off which is really really good um, I would call that a successful October in terms of paying off my student debt but to be perfectly honest I would say it was not really a successful October for pretty much um, anything else so I guess what I want to talk about today is health mental health, physical health, and paying off debt, and how much um, it is worth sacrificing your health in order to achieve that goal. I always think of this one um, Dave Ramsey video I watched. You know, I definitely watch, you know, some of his rants or whatever. I'm sure a lot of people around here do too. And there's this one that always sticks out to me, but it was like some 20 something year old dude who was trying to pay off um, debt and he was talking about how he liked to go to the gym every day and um you know and it was getting in the way of him like getting a second or a third job or whatever and dave ramsey went off on his like whole rant thing um basically his whole um stance was that you know this kid shouldn't be going to the gym right you should be sacrificing the gym in order to work 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 and he just like really went off on it, it was like you shouldn't see the gym for two years until this is all paid off and i always just personally really disagreed with that statement because i was like the cost of a gym is literally ten dollars you know that's how much planet fitness costs you know i was a member for years so i know and they're pretty much everywhere in this country um and I think that the sacrifice that your body goes through by not keeping it healthy is probably far worse than carrying some extra debt for um, a little bit, you know? Maybe that's controversial, but I just thought that, that was like, you know, as a healthcare worker and a physical therapist, I thought that was about the dumbest advice that he'd ever given, you know? I'm not saying you need to go, you know, do the to the gym two hours a day and be like a gym rat, but, you know, I think that keeping yourself healthy in whatever way you need to or whatever that means to you is um, paramount and should take precedent. Um, but that is hard when you are paying down, you know, so much debt. It's like I feel like I can constant, I should constantly be working. Um, you know, I've definitely forgotten how to relax. And I think I just kind of hit that point. I think I talked last video about how my body was starting to shut down. And I just hit the point in October. I was just like, I can't, you know, something's um, got to give. You know, I have a lot of... Um, musculoskeletal <laughs> injuries, I guess you could say, um, that I kind of have to constantly manage else it prevents me from doing anything. So I spent all of October, you know, just trying to get various treatments to get myself so that I can able to walk. You know, some days I can't even walk. I can't do um, a lot of things just because of my own health issues if I don't kind of constantly manage it. And I felt super guilty and I still do about spending money on co-pays and you know treatments that I might need it's like my mental health sucks right now too and it's like should I spend the money on going to you know see a counselor or something and it's just like at what point do you say um, enough with the student payment I have to focus on other things 
as well. It's just, it's such a tricky thing. I think if I had less debt, I wouldn't question it as much, but it's like, you really have to go so gung-ho and full steam ahead when you have this much debt. And I think I've done that because I've been able to make a pretty good uh, dent in it in under a year so far. Um, but really at what sacrifice? So I guess moving forward, I frankly don't really have a choice. I'm kind of having to confront a couple of health issues and spend money on it. And that's going to uh, cut into my student debt repayment. You know, I'm definitely not going to hit my $3,000 goal in November. I'll tell you that right now. Um, you know, I'll be lucky if I get half. Um, and that is fine because it's like a self-imposed goal. But... You know, it's just like, it's it's such a mental game, this debt stuff, and I just, I don't know what to do. So, I don't know if anybody else feels like that. Um, if you do, please let me know. Like, I think you should never sacrifice your health for anything, because if you don't have health, then you can't do literally anything else, but how do you measure that up against paying down your student debt? So that's kind of where I am. I'm a little bit, I'm a lot bit down. You know, my anxiety is high. My pain level in my body is just really high. I just feel like there's inflammation everywhere and every single injury I've ever had has just like come back to haunt me. Um, I'm just not very motivated at work right now and I'm not motivated um, at all. And I guess at what point do I just kind of push through this and hope that it is just a season and at what point do I say okay I need to make um, drastic changes in my life because I can't live like this you know until my debts paid off or for a while longer so I don't know I don't think I'll probably make any changes for the rest of the year because we're heading into the holiday season and um, I don't know in terms of work at least I never think that that's a good time of year to uh, make changes because I do have a lot of PTO and holidays coming up so I want to take advantage of that so other good news or no bad news I guess um, we still don't have student debt relief which is a big old bummer it's still tied up in the court system um, to nobody's surprise um, the Supreme Court does keep uh, choosing to not take on these student loan cases that have been presented before them so far. I think the one that we're all waiting on is the one that's currently in the Eighth Circuit judges. Um, but the good news about that, if you guys caught last week, um, kind of one of the reasons that they are, one of the reasons that they're using um, to have this lawsuit is that they're saying that the states and Mohila, the big student loan servicer, um, are going to be financially harmed by this. And Mohila came out with a statement basically saying, whoa, 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 we don't agree, or we never said that. Um, so I'll try and find an article about it. But basically, Mohila's distancing itself from um, this lawsuit which, lawsuit, which is a good thing, because um, then the lawsuit doesn't have as much ground to stand upon. So I guess we just have to keep waiting. Um, I could definitely use a mental boost with my loans right now. It's just, it's so slow when you're paying it down. You know, $3,000 a month or whatever is so slow. Um, and since that really is mostly a mental game, you know, I think that that'll just give me at least a nice shot of, you know, endorphins to kind of keep going for a little bit longer. So, let me know how you guys are doing. Um, are you feeling motivated heading into the end of the year? Are you completely burned out and exhausted like me? Um, how much of your health do you sacrifice in order to pay off your student loans? Uh, let me know in the comments below and I'll see you guys next time.